welcome back to your new lesson in this lesson i am going to show you how you can import and export numeric data from a text file Numer earlier we have seen that how to import a string data but here in this video i'll show you how you can generate a sample data and then how you can write that data into a csv file so let's generate that data we are going to generate this data into a variable and it is a matrix and we are going to use a gallery function of matlab gallery function is being used to generate a sample data into a matlab and gallery actually this gallery function can be used for various purpose it generates a various type of matrix to test your functions and uh, write a test code also so here we are going to create integer data so the first parameter will be integer data and then i am going to specify the maximum value will be 99 and the, i am going to now specify the matrix dimension so the dimension is 3 by 4 and then i am going to seed it with one so here this one is specify that it will generate a type of uh, let's say variable uh, with one seed function what one seed variable and when i generate a variable b with this same parameters right then it will generate again a same uh, same matrix but when i change this one to two with these two these uh, parameters uh, as it is then it will generate another uh, matrix that means this this variable is controlling uh, a matrix similarity right so if i keep this one then a will be always the same if i keep it two and then a will change so let me show you now a is c here what is a now let's change make it to two right now see here now a is a different matrix now let's create a b so here when i create a b matrix now let's make a same variable as a one this value now you will see this b matrix is same as a previous matrix right so this last parameter is controlling matrix similarity right so if it is same then it will repeatedly create a same matrix now i am going to write this matrix b matrix or a matrix whatever you take into a comma separated uh, comma separated file so for that there is a matlab command that is dlm that is delimiter write right so dlm write and then I am going to give a file name in which I am going to write this. So I am going to give it ph dat that is ph data and then I am going to give here the matrix which I want to write and then here I am going to specify delimiter. Right. So when I hit the enter now you will see here ph dot dat is created and these values row values will be separated by comma let me open this file only you need to double click it once you double click it you will see here a preview window right in a preview window now you can see here this is value which is stored here 87 67 53 and 25 you might not see here it is comma separated but but let me show you it with the load function load ph dot that now let's print this ph right so this is the same matrix but if you open this it into outside of matlab then you will be able to see it how it is written there so let me open it into sublime text right see here the value is stored with the comma separated in the same way you can change it with some different um, you know with some different delimiter 
let's say suppose that if you want to change it with the space right then hit the enter now you must you will see here this is space separated right now let's say suppose that you want it with uh, sorry let, let's see uh, you want it with some other um, let's say semicolon separated and hit the enter now you will see here these values are so semicolon separated right so with this dlm write you can control how these row values are separated great now suppose that now you want to read this csv file okay so this is comma separated so let's again once again make it a comma separated once you make it a comma separated value hit the enter now this is stored into comma separated now suppose that you want to read this for reading there is a csv read function so now read this function into new variable known as let's say n csv read in the csv read now we need to give the file name which we want to read so ph dot that right so it will read that into n now let's print this n now you will see this is loaded into the matrix form so this represents that first row four value which was separated by comma if you see this is the first four values which was separated by comma now apart from that suppose that if you don't want to read this full matrix then you can also control a partial reading so partial reading how you can control you need to pass here another parameter right so 0 and let's say the 2 0 says that here it will read from 0th row and second column so this is 0th row into csv read it is represented by 0 but in the matlab it is represented by 1 so it will read from 0th row and second column so this is 0th column first column and the second column so it will read this matrix right so this will be the 0th row and the second column and after that it will read all the value so let's print it now you will see here from here it has read all the value in the similar way if you change and make it to 1 then that means it will read from the first row and second column so that is this one so now it will read only this value right see here great now suppose that um, let's first create another .txt file right so let's create uh, one more file let's generate uh, once again using gallery function so in this gallery I'm going to generate once again a new data integer data and the maximum value is 10 now this time I'm going to create a 4 cross 4 matrix and I'm going to pass only 0 seed here sorry this is uh, this matrix name is actually wrong this is a uh, integer data and now a is created there now we are going to store this dlm write now you can write with some .txt file let's save it with the norm num.txt and uh, a and then i am going to save it with tab separated right so once you write it and now you can open this .txt file and you will see this file is a tab separated if we open it into outside of MATLAB and now you can see it this is a tab separated values okay right now we are going to read this into M matrix so in a similar way now we cannot use here csv read but we are going to use here dlm read right so this says that the delimiter read so here it's a dlm read num.txt now if you print m matrix it will read that the same matrix 
right as previously we had a control to read some part of the matrix and in the similar way we have here control to read only some part of this matrix so suppose that if you want to read only from first column and uh, uh, first column and the second so let's suppose that if i type one and the two right so sorry uh, here i have to specify um, you know um, what type of uh, you know value what type of values are there which we want to read right so this is tab separated right so here you see it has printed 5 8 7 2 8 5 it represents that the first row so the first row is this one and this is 0th row into DLM read but in the MATLAB actually this is first row but into the DLM read this is 0th row so it says that the first row this is the first row and then second column so this is the second column so it will read from 5 8 7 2 and 8 5 so only these six values falls under this constraint right great so this is all about how to read and uh, write comma separated uh, files and type separated files thank you so much for watching this video please do not forget to subscribe this channel and uh, keep watching bye bye have a nice day